let's go ahead and take a look at what could be a reasonable worst case scenario for areas along North Carolina. All the way here from Surf City to North Topsail Beach, we could be talking about up to six feet of storm surge. And again, impacts have already begun today with the storm approaching. Even inland, it's not just going to be a coastal event here. Areas along rivers like the Tar River here in the Greenville and Simpson area, we could be talking about six to potentially nine feet of storm surge given how that high tide comes in with that storm. But this is just what it looks like on the map. We can show you what this could look like if you were to find yourself in this scenario. Once that water comes up to three feet, you can see it would be coming up my shins up towards my waist. This could be enough to knock you off your feet. It could even float some cars that could be parked on the side of the roadway. This is extremely dangerous, but once we get up into that six foot range, look at how high this water goes. Winds pick everything up. Cars would be floating at this point. This water's over my head. I wouldn't be able to stand here, even withstand the force of the water coming in. There might even be dangers like chemicals and uh, exposed power lines lurking in the waters. But once we get to that nine foot range, this is an absolute life threatening scenario. This water is through the first floor of your home into the second. You can see there's fish floating around in here. This is an extremely dangerous and life threatening situation. So if you find yourself here, please get out. If you're told to go, you need to go. Listen to those local officials and make sure you heed the advice they've told to do so.